We're back at the California Speedway where the prayer service continues. We'll show you the unofficial results of this race. Normally, there would be celebration and people heading for the exits. No one has moved. you to do these things for us in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you all. Hunter Floyd, one of the chaplains with the cart missionaries. Well liked, well loved, expresses the thoughts of so many here. So the race is resolved in and Adrian Fernandez's favor and the championship to Juan Montoya. Let's go to Gary. Paul, it's so hard to describe the emotion thousands of people are feeling and it's uh it swept over all of us chip ganassi and the crew have talking to juan and remember these drivers of course have not been aware of this and they need just a moment to be able to collect their thoughts and juan has had that opportunity and juan i i, I don't know how to ask you how you can enjoy such a career highlight in a moment when there's this deep sorrow and I know you just find out about it uh, can you tell us what kind of thoughts you have at this time no you know it's really bad you know it's really bad you know it's it happened again this year Greg was a great guy you know I'm really sorry for his family and everything you know you know you, he didn't deserve to die I know that in terms of the race and the decision was made that this race would continue and chip if you don't mind leaning in here as well you talked on the radio there was the concern about the fuel strategy, the importance of every position at the end. You realized from his urging how crucial it was to get by Mauricio Guzman at the end because that was going to decide whether or not you won this championship. Yeah, he told me about it, you know, and I thought I saw Mauricio was going really slow, so I didn't think it was going to be that hard, you know. When I went by him, I couldn't believe it. Chip, we must offer our congratulations to this team in a time of this uh, somber atmosphere. We salute you with another championship. How much of a long shot did you think it would be as this day began? I'll tell you, Gary. Um, you know, we we the, I, I can't I can't tell you. I'm just not ready for I'm not I'm not ready for a championship. I'm not ready for the today's activities. Uh, I'm I'm ready to congratulate my pal here for what a great job he did driving, and and I want to certainly uh, you know. Greg was a friend of all of ours, and I'm, I'm a little bit speechless right now, to tell you the truth. And it's an emotion that is shared all and up down pit road at this time. We do have a champion for 1999, but there's been a huge price paid by another team on this day, and our thoughts and prayers are with Greg Moore and his family. Very subdued there on the scoring pylon in 26th place is the 99 car number for Greg Moore. I think you saw a good good representation of that with Chip Ganassi. You'll see it all up and down the pits because Greg was a very playful guy. In, in fact, those of us that camp from time to time in the infield of these tracks, he was always the one out running back and forth, practical joker, loved fly fishing, and this has hit everybody very, very hard. Now we go to Jan. Adrian Fernandez, of course, won this race. Got out of the car with the congratulations of the team and then, like so many of the other drivers, he heard the news and just could not keep the tears in. Adrian Fernandez, uh, along with some other drivers, are sequestered in the CART sanction office, getting away from the media, having some of their other fellow drivers come join them where they can spend some time in prayer. And, and as we've said, Greg Moore is one and, and, and was certainly one of the most popular drivers on the circuit. And it just has caught these drivers totally by surprise. And, of course, Adrian Fernandez has declined to comment on the win today and just wants to be alone with his thoughts right now. 